so this is the dissection of a female Anopheles gambi. This is the mosquito responsible for the transmission of malaria. And we're going to dissect the med gut, which is this. You can see it here because this this female was blood fed a couple of days ago. So this uh, area here is, is the blood that has been digested. So to do that, we're going to first we're going to cut the head off here then we're going to cut this last bit of the abdomen here the kind of towards the last two segments here and then we're gonna push the contents out and then we'll try to dissect the salivary glands so the first thing is using our dissection needles oops it's can you pause it or okay because it's going to re refocus automatically, but let's see if it doesn't. Okay, so head first. That's not very difficult. There we go. That's the head being cut. So let's put the head on the on one side here, and then we're going to cut the last two segments here. See, that's exposing a bit of the eggs that let me show you so let's get closer just to have a nice look at the organs so here we have some of the uh, eggs that are starting to develop mm -hmm. so what we're going to do now is we push the contents of the gut Look, this is the ovaries. These are the developing eggs. So let's push that out. And this is these. That's the, that's the eggs here. There's a bit of blood there, but that is ah, that is a mid good. Let's get rid of the eggs. Well, it's not eggs yet. These are all sides or developing eggs. Let's put them on the side. And here, this is a mosquito mid gut here we have the blood that has been digested this is this is structure here this is called the crop the crop is a storage compartment where the sugar meal anything that is sugar based is stored so this is the crop you can see oh let's get closer look at a closer look to look at this those nice peristaltic movements. See. Actually, I think that what we are looking at is this is not peristalsis. I think this is part of the of the pump muscles that allow the, f the f mosquito to feed on blood so I think those are involuntary movements because well the insect was killed but you know uh, there's the, the, although the animal is dead the tissue is still alive let's have a look at the rest so that is effectively the med gut with the blood that has been digested these white structures here, these are called Malpighian tubules. Let me use the needle to kind of untangle them a wee bit. Um, it's not the tubules that are moving, it's the, the gut. And that is actually peristalsis, but those structures, that's better. The Malpighian tubules, they are the equivalent in insects uh, to our kidneys so they are responsible for removing toxins detoxifying uh, toxic molecules in the insects or oh, that's peristalsis so this is the this is the uh, posterior well this is the, the end of the this is the end of the midgut so there is some peristalsis here but that's not being tubule so that's like 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 insect kidneys 
they um they have that the the, the detoxifying uh, job. So so that's the med gut. Now let's see if we can get some nice salivary glands. And to do that, we're going to put we're going to move this this light a bit. So that's a mosquito head. Maybe we should have a quick look. So I can just put the lights off. There we go. We get less glare without the light. So um, let's see if we can do something with this. So I can show you a couple of structures. Um, so, right, I need to be careful because this is very tiny. So these, okay. So let's see if we can see the three of them. So we have this things called palps or pulps, depending how you pronounce it. P-A-L-P-S, pulps, which are quite long. And so this, are the, this is the antenna, it's in, in males the antenna are quite, they're, they're massive and, and covered with uh, these hairs because they have this uh, f function of detecting uh, pheromones and other female molecules for mating. So they're huge but in females they're small. So the proboscis is the actual piercing structure but we can't see it here without it's between these two palps oh there it is so that's one palp that's the proboscis there and that's another pulp so that's the proboscis in the middle and the actual piercing bit is inside because this is like a sheet So inside this is the actual piercing uh, structure that goes inside the skin. Right, let's go and have a look at the rest of the body, which is here. Now, another important uh, organ that we study, oh, these are the ovaries. So you see, they were tiny when the but before the females started to feed maybe one fifth of the size, but now in just a couple of days of growth a lot. And had the mosquito being alive uh, for a few more days, then they would have increased their size significantly and then turned into actual eggs. Right, let's put this away. Okay, so here's the rest of the mosquito. The other in uh, interesting structure we would like to have a look at is the salivary glands. So the plasmodium parasite, once it um, leaves the the um, the gut, it enters the mosquito circulatory system and goes to the salivary glands. So you can look for uh, malaria parasites inside the salivary glands. So to do that, we're going to open. The, th the thorax, so that there is a, ah, there we go, there is a joint here, so we can open, ah, there we go, you see it's like, a, it's like a, it's like a cap, so these things that, this, that, this that we are exposing here, these are the flight muscles, okay, this white tissue here, but you see this tiny bit here, this translucent bit here, let me get closer, I think that's bits of the salivary glands. I'm not sure, it could be part of the, and we're too far away, but, yeah, that looks like, yeah, that looks like salivary gland. So, let's try to dissect those bad boys. Um, so, now that we remove the, that uh, pronotum, that um, cap here, where is it? Okay, now we can have some fun. So, there's lots of flight, the flight muscles here are quite big, so let's try and split this open. Uh, let's get rid of the, the ab, we don't need the abdomen, so let's just get rid of, okay, by abdomen. And let's get closer to what's important to us. Let's fix the light a bit, see if we can get 
Okay. So the two main tissues that we'll find in the thorax are the flight muscles. You see all this whitish, uh, all this whitish kind of uh, uh, cottony, stringy tissue. That is the flight tissue. There's a flight muscle, and here. Yeah, there we go. Salivary glands there. So, make sure of salivary glands, which has, let me see, where I can. Uh huh. So, you would take this tissue and transfer it to a slide and look for parasites. You would also you could also transfer, so you would transfer to separate uh, microscope slide this bit of tissue here, and the gut to look for plasmodium parasites. And so now that we've finished, let's have a look at the whole thing again. So that's a clean, very thorough insect dissection where you have the head here. We we'll look at the different sens sensing and feeding structures. The thorax, where we have the wings attached, still the salivary glands, and then we dissect it out the midgut, which we have here, which still has the malpighian tubules and the crop attached, and finally the uh, ovaries with developing eggs. So this is the this was the dissection of an Anopheles gambi mosquito.